So I'd like to start by first asking you to share a little bit about the origins of your professional journey. So you started your career as an internal medical doctor, as we heard, then you pursued further research training in neurochemistry and endocrinology. So what then made you turn your interest to pursuing formal training in acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine? Well, I was definitely uh, sort of offbeat at the time. This was in the late 1980s and uh, I was practicing. I was, I was seeing patients uh, as an internist and endocrinologist. I was seeing a lot of patients, just like every uh, doctor, any, any, no matter what specialty you are, you always see patients with pain. Um, and I was seeing a lot of uh, people with diabetes who had you know, uh, pain and people with back pain. And I really had so little to offer. Um, I would usually recommend you know, physical therapy, which for a lot of my patients that were uh, very underserved, um, either they couldn't afford it or there was, there was, it was just not, in, in, or I could have to write a prescription uh, of, for pain painkillers. I mean, to me, that was not enough. And uh, there was a school of acupuncture that, that just started uh, that was uh, a few uh, a few minutes from where I was was living and practicing, and I thought, oh well, let's just see. They were offering classes in, in the evening on, on acupuncture. I got very intrigued by this, and so that's what got my my interest uh, started. And then I would I would actually uh, start um, having um, you know treating uh, patients uh, as an acupuncturist, and and uh, frankly, uh, I I was I was very interested by what was happening during the acupuncture treatments. Um, there were some, uh, some very interesting phenomena that you could observe that uh, we, we did not know um, what, the, uh, what, the reason, what the cause of this was, a you know, specific reaction to inserting the needles and then you manipulate the needles. And I, would, I could feel that there was something happening in the tissues as a result of the needles being manipulated that we had no idea uh, what this was. And that, was, that led to my very first research project that was funded by uh, NIH uh, once I uh, came, went to the University of Vermont. 